Hello, God bless you, Riku. This is Reverend Dorothea Beiwa, all the way from Milan, Italy. And by the grace of God, my husband and I, we um are with the pastors of um a ministry here in Italy, Living Faith International Ministry, and we thank God for what He's doing in our midst. And uh, we want to use this video to say a big thank you to Papa Fatusi and Mama Fatusi, you know, for what God has been using them to do in the body of Christ all over the globe. And most especially in my own life and in that of our ministry, I tell you that a great blessing. You know, God has been using this great couple, you know, quickly. And uh, I'm talking out of experience. And uh, their ministry has really blessed us. You know, ways are not enough to really express, you know, the blessings they have been to us. And uh, I want to thank God for their lives. And uh, true, as a result of following up their programs, we are high for one has been transformed indeed. And uh, such of um, programs has been, for example, Women in Ministry, which is um, otherwise known as a win. And I thank God for last year, you know, being there last year, I was really blessed in fact when i came back my life was transformed and my ministry was totally affected and the same good news i bring across your way i do a woman of god you welcome also to come and be a particular of such blessing you are not being left out at all and so to god for the glory we thank god for this year women in ministry conference which has been tagged flame of fire i'm telling you come and contact the flame come and contact the fire and the Lord will do great and other things that are missed in Jesus' name. And so uh, this year also, I'm so grateful. I'm happy to God that I'm not going alone. I bet also God has opportunity me also to carry other women of God along. And so I'm giving you that great invitation. Come along and don't come alone. Come with all her people also. I'm telling you, God will make it happen because this year I'm filled with so much expectation and you know what the bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off i see your expectation not be cut off in jesus name and so before um before i leave you uh this day we're going to be um lifting up the program into god says we're going to be praying we're going to be praying you no know, prayer is very important if jesus says so and remember in his word luke chapter 18 verse 1 he said men ought to always to pray and not to offend so woman you ought to always to pray and not to offend and so before we take some prayer points, uh, the word of God, let's look into Exodus chapter 3 from verse 2. I'm not going to be reading, but I'm just going to paraphrase it because of time. And what does it say? Uh, chapter 3 from verse 1. It makes us understand that uh, uh, Moses was in charge of his father-in-law's uh, uh, sheep. And this happened to be a day that he was uh, taking care of the sheep at the back of the desert. They observed something, and what did they observe? If the bush was born, and yet the bush was not consumed, and he stepped forward to look. And that was how God caught his attention. I see God got catching your attention in this conference in Jesus' name. So that is going to lead us to a series of prayers this day. And number one, we're going to be taking this uh, day is that let's open our mouth. We're going to open our mouth and thank God for all he has been doing the previous conference year on the win. And as you, um, I was made, as I already know, is that this year is the seventh edition. You see that you are blessed. You know, seven talks about completion. You coming around the seventh edition, or you have been part, you'll be coming. I tell you, this year home is also seven talks about completion. And so, I see your miracle be completed as you come to this conference in Jesus' name. So, as I said, we're going to be. Opening our mouth, let's show God appreciation. You know, when we appreciate our God, we are telling we are expecting Him to do more. Let's thank Him for previous conferences, the great things He has been doing, because each of the conferences has been packed full of testimony. And we are expecting Him to do great how once this time around. But before He can do that, let's appreciate Him for the previous one. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here to give a praise. Blessed so be your holy name. We we'll give you thanks, we we'll give you adoration. Thank you, Father, Lord God. We are indeed grateful for all you have done, Lord God, in women and men. Ministry in the past week, uh, past years, Father Jehovah, in the first conference, we want to say thank you because in the second one, we want to say thank you. The third one came and gone, Father, you did tremendous things. Uh, the fourth one, Lord God, came, Lord God, with so much expectation, and you did more than we expected. Uh, and so was the fifth and the sixth year. We had the seventh time, uh, Father, we say thank you. So, lay 
you that have caused this to happen. And Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Great is your faithfulness. Moment by moment, your master will see all that we need that your hands has provided. Who are we if not for your mercy? Glory to your holy name. We give it thanks. Our Father, we appreciate you. In Jesus' name, we have given things. And so back to the scriptures I explained concerning Exodus chapter 3. We're going to be looking at that scripture very well. It makes us understand that, yes, the bush was born and the bush was not consumed. Why was the bush born and yet not consumed? Because God wanted to catch the attention of Muslims. Because why the bush was born and it was not consumed? That was one, you know, a particular thing that caught Moses' attention. Ah, why is it burning and yet it's not consumed? And to that, God could catch his attention. We want to pray through this conference. You and I will not just attend the law, but our attention shall be redirected back to God. As many of us that we have been distracted because of one thing or the other. Oh yes, and so as a result of that ministry has been affected, our lives have been affected, going the way it's not supposed to go. But we want to pray through this conference uh, flames of fire. Our attention shall be redirected back to God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus who gave a praise. Uh, the God of for miracles, uh, the God of mercy. Father Jehovah, we are saying thank you for Lord Dimini feet to set up at such a time of Father of of your people to gather together, most especially the women, Father Jehovah, we are praying for your mercy. Is there any way our attention as Father be distracted, Father, from the vision you have called us to God to Father to carry heart for your kingdom? Father, we pray for mercy. I will return back in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there any way we have been doing things, but Father, we think we are doing it to satisfaction, but not as you expected from us? We are praying as a result of this conference, our attention shall be redirected to you in the name of. Jesus Christ. Uh, we we'll pray that every woman of God that will come, Lord God, their attention shall be redirected back, back to you. We we'll come against every spirit of destruction. Uh, we we'll come against every spirit of destruction. We we'll refuse to be distracted. Uh, in the matter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Jesus' name. We are still praying. We are still praying. Thank God for the move of the Spirit. We are still praying. If you look at the theme of this conference, which is being tapped, flame of fire. We want to pray as a result of this conference. Every one of us will catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. I tell you, fire is very important. It brings a bad transformation. Oh, yes, we want to pray. As a result of this conference, every woman oh, yes, will catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. None of us will come there and go back the same. Father, Lord, God, King of glory, as the name goes to God, Jehovah, yes, this year conference, Father, women in ministry, Father, Jehovah, yes, God, we are praying. Father, Lord, God, flames of fire, that every one of us will catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. We catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. We catch the fire of the Holy Ghost uh, in the bad name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that will leave none of us who God will lead us in where we have come in the name of Jesus. We shall live for God revive, uh, train sound, uh, quicken in the name of Jesus. That's will return back to each of our destinations, God, our ministries, God. Father, Lord God, this will not remain the same. Our homes, God, King of Lamb, our Father, Jehovah, environment, Father, Jehovah will sense the difference in us. And as a result, of God will set the need to join us, God, to come and glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask Holy Spirit, visit us in your mighty way. 